Hi, I'm Anya Suiko and with me is Dr. Des Cabling. Dr. Des is the president of the In Vitro Fertilization Davao Incorporated, the head of the Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility Section of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology and laboratory director of the Fertility Care Center of the Broken Shire Hospital. On top of that, she is also the section head of the Reproductive Medicine Section of the Southern Philippine Medical Center, all in Davao City. Yes. Doc Des. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Doc, first question natin, just to help people out with some of their questions about fertility and infertility. Kung above 40 years old, pwede pa po ba mabuntis? Yes. Pilad ko yan. Uh, okay. Um, first is to be objective. For you to know at age 40, the simplest test, simple test that you can have is a blood examination and do AMH, anti-malarian hormone test. Okay? So that with that result, you will have an objective chances. No? If your ovary still can produce better quality egg. If a good value is near three, not a gram per mil. But if your value is lower, then you have to accept it, that your ovary at that age is not really producing quality egg. So that's very objective. Second, literature would say that when the woman at age 37, chances of pregnancy would really be diminishing. It's because of the quality of the egg. Okay? So I think literature and then having that blood examination, then you can have an idea as to your chances of uh, having pregnancy. But it's not impossible. Definitely. We're here to give hope. Okay. Sige. And the... Uh, the, ad, the audience sent in their questions, ito po yung case na gusto po nating i-post for you. Yeah. Ito po yung uh, kwento nung ating reader. Magkala, malagkit. Malagkit daw po ang natitirang right fallopian tube ko. Kapareho ng tinanggal na left fallopian ko last December dahil sa ectopic pregnancy. Ano po mga paraan para magbuntis ulit ako na di na mauulit yung tubal ligation ko? Okay. The question is, uh, ano yung paraan para di na maulit yung tube, yung, tube, yung ectopic pregnancy? Apo. Okay. Paraan para hindi na maulit is through assisted reproductive technology, I should say. Because yung description from the clinician or the doctor who attended to her is malagkit. So meaning nagdikit-dikit. Mm -hmm. Nagdikit-dikit is highly associated with an infectious process mm -hmm. and adhesion process, which prevents mm -hmm. no, the mobility and fun decreases the functionality of the tube. Apo. So with that, you have to bypass that mm -hmm. and go directly to idea. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yun po yung mare recommend nyo for, for that case. Yes. Diretso na po sila sa IBS. IBS, yes. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, would you like to talk a bit more about the uh, services that are available in Davao? Because I'm sure that it's it might be harder for people to get to those kinds of services in the yes. South. So, uh, Fertility Care Center where we have the in vitro uh, fertilization Davao is really a complete center. Uh -huh. So, from the basic andrology, we have the semen analysis, mm -hmm. then we have the sperm freezing, mm -hmm. we have intrauterine insemination mm -hmm. to a more complex, mm -hmm. the in vitro fertilization, mm -hmm. intracytoplasmic mm -hmm. sperm injection, mm -hmm. sperm freezing to accommodate our patients mm -hmm. who are often not around, especially the seafarers mm -hmm. or husband who will be away for quite some time and their partner is left behind. So these are the available tests and of course counseling, mm -hmm. counseling, yeah, especially with those genetic problem and who had repeated pregnancy loss. We really offer counseling. We believe counseling is um, one of the most important aspects that will help our patient be receptive prior to receiving the treatment. Mm -hmm. So how to have that mind conditioning, what do we expect during the journey, and even in unsuccessful, I should say, not pregnant, but they would feel good that they went through the journey and uh, 
they give it a chance because it's a different thing when the patient, the couple looks back and then didn't give it a try. So it's better trying and have a negative outcome rather than not trying at all. Wow, that's very interesting. It's such a great example of patient care to give them counseling. Because yeah. in all of the discussions that we've had today, parang marami nga kung pinagdadaanan yung mga couples yeah. sa process. So, yeah. ano po yung mga may expect nila to, when they go through that kind of counseling? First is, um, you have to listen to them. That's the first thing. And then, as you have said, a lot of patients do come already in their advanced stage, age, okay? And they went through a lot already, seen by a general practitioner like that. Then when they come to you, they have so much of stress already. So, and in our center, we really discourage couple who cannot come as... Together. Please, uh-uh. please. Okay, because... With that alone, we can see the problem, okay? So we're there to listen to them. And along the way, if we find them receptive already, then that's the time we initiate the process of treatment. So we always um, journey with our patient, and then we, as much as possible, try to have a patient-centered center, which will make, we're trying to make our center different from other center, by making more understanding the nature of uh, infertility. Oh, maraming salamat sa pagintindi nyo sa pasyente, Doc Des. <laughs> okay, so um, maraming salamat kay Doc for joining us on Baby Goals. And sana natulungan natin yung mga couples na maraming tanong tungkol sa fertility. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more information to help you meet your baby goals.